Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Matt Greer. I'm the music director here at St. John's United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, welcoming you to another Wednesday live stream concert. We're so happy that you are with us. We plan to do these every week, every Wednesday at noon for the foreseeable future, so we hope you'll continue tuning in. Also, as you're joining us on our YouTube channel, I would invite you to notice that there is so much fantastic music piled up on that channel. All of our live stream concerts are available to view, all of the music videos videos we made during the course of lockdown are available to view. So we hope you'll continue coming back to the channel and enjoying the music that we have to offer. Uh, I just want to let you know what's coming up the next couple of weeks for Wednesday live streams. Next Wednesday, which is the 28th of October, will feature two fantastic sopranos who happen to be members of the music staff here at St. John's, Therese McCauley and Shay Perry, doing a voice recital accompanied by Gabriel Longuinos. And then two weeks from today on November 4th, the day after the election, we're we're going to feature the Robert Law Trio, so we hope that you'll tune in and enjoy some jazz uh, on that day, and then we'll let you know what's coming up following that. As always, one of the reasons that we do these concerts is to lift up a very important organization that does wonderful work in our community uh, and with whom the music ministry has partnered for over 10 years. That's Albuquerque Healthcare for the Homeless. You'll notice in the chat box there is a link that will take you to their donate page, and today as you are enjoying the music, we strongly encourage encourage you to consider donating. The work that they do, especially in these times, is so important. Also in the chat box is a link that will take you to the printed program and biographies for today's performers. So we hope you'll view that and enjoy the concert. Uh, it's such a treat today for me to be able to introduce these two performers, both of whom I adore and one of whom I live with, to perform today both solo repertoire and together. We're so happy to have with us and would you welcome Roxandra Marquardt and Amy Greer.
So a year ago, last October, Ruxandra and I were rehearsing a program that we absolutely loved, that we played together last November. And if you squint really hard, we could almost think it was still last 2019, October. Of course, if we open our eyes, we realize that today's world is really very, very different. And that's the reason it has been soul food to get this program together with my friend. So we are so grateful to be here together. Um, Ruxandra opened today and is handing the baton of Bach off to me. Um, she started with a movement from a violin suite that we all know and love. And I am picking up the baton and um, taking Bach in a kind of a different direction here. The next thing on the program is a set of variations by the American jazz composer, Fred Hirsch. And he wrote these variations on a Bach chorale that is a fairly familiar chorale to all of us, um, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. That's a, that's a chorale we all know. But he says that his original um, inspiration and how he first knew this, this Bach chorale was from the folk version that the Weavers and Peter, Paul, and Mary um, did some decades ago with lyrics by Tom Glazer. And these lyrics um, have the, the title, All Men Are Brothers. And we've included the lyrics, the text in the program notes. If you click on the chat, you'll be able to find the lyrics. And this text, All Men Are Brothers, seems like a really important text for us all to be sitting with these days. So Fred Hirsch picked up this, this um, inspiring, inspiring chorale and with these lyrics in mind. And he wrote this set of 24 variations after 9-11. I'm gonna play eight of these variations, but these are 24 variations on a Bob Corral by Fred Hurst.
now I'm going to ask my friend Sandra to come back and join me. The next piece on the program is actually the big piece on the program, although that's kind of a barn burner too, isn't it? Um, it was difficult to, to figure out how to order this program when everything might end big. But the next piece on the program is the Beethoven 7th um, Violin Sonata. And 2020 was slated to be a big Beethoven celebration year because it's his 250th birthday here in 2020. And of course, most of those birthday celebrations have been canceled. So we are happy to play Beethoven. Um, and when I asked uh, Ruxandra which of the 10 sonatas she wanted to play, she said, would you be willing to play the naughty one? And I'm not still sure entirely why she calls this the naughty one, but this is the naughty Beethoven sonata number seven. Well, I think this is actually a, a difficult one. It, it, it's difficult. I, it's, it's I not, always call difficult yeah. things naughty, but it's difficult. I'm very happy to play it. It's, I played this exactly 40 years ago, Ooh. and I have not played it since. What were you, one? <laughs> no, not <laughs> older than that. But, um, I, I'm left with certain impressions, you know, but like a good wine, things get better with age. So I'm hoping at this point I can really... Now that you're 41. In, yes, yes. And enjoy it. Yes. Uh, and I thank you for yes. agreeing to it. No, it, it's, been, it's been lovely. And like I said, such soul food to be able to play with my friend in, in this period of lockdown. Um, it's a minor me, key. Yes. Has angry moments. Uh, it's uh, intense. But even with that minor feel and intensity, it has some hope in the end, so... Absolutely. It's four good, movements. Good, good thing. Yeah, four movements. The first one does start rather dark. Um, the second movement, I'm just going to spoil it for you forever, because it is like a hybrid of two things that you know. The Beethoven Pathetique Sonata and the Handel Aria, Wherever You Walk. Now I've ruined it for you forever, but that's what the second movement really is. And then the third <laughs> movement's a scherzo, a joke. Um, and oftentimes with Beethoven, the joke is on the musicians. So, you know, it's another one of those, I'm afraid. And then it does end with this kind of rambunctious, patriotic almost, um, yeah. you know, very, very um, brotherhood for everyone kind of universal theme for the fourth movement. Yes? It's gonna be great. Okay.
I think that Rexandra is right, but it's kind of a naughty sonata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> naughty to the musicians. Um, that's kind of a bar barn burner, and probably in a normal life, um, we would end there because um, it would feel like that was the ending. But in this world, we decided we wanted to end tonight's concert with um, a bit of a prayer, a little meditation by Arvo Pert. Um, before we do, let me also lift up the good work that Healthcare for the Homeless does. And you can make donations. There is a link in the chat box and to support their work and um, the work that St. John's does as well. Um, all of these um, institutions and organizations are doing good work in a hard time. So, so we should um, support them however we can. Um, this piece by Arvo Pert is a piece called Spiegel and Spiegel. Um, and that means mirrors in mirrors. And it is a minimalist piece. Um, and that just simply means that it's a very static harmonic line that is repetitive over and over again. Um, it feels a little bit like a prayer. And so um, to leave today, um, this is our prayer for a better tomorrow. <laughs> 